Why, hello there, good talk to you all, and welcome to the final Halloween special of the Fripp and Frank Hill Show. I am your host, Dr. Weiser Fripp, and I am Frank and Stein. So, first of all, happy Halloween to you all. Yeah, happy Halloween! Oh, yes, Master, it's the best time of the year for any horror lover, isn't it? Yes, it is, my boy. Oh, do excuse me, I'm a bit tired. I just woke up from my nap. Oh, yeah, Master, you have, but are you sure you want to keep doing this? I must. I need to keep busy. <coughs> <laughs> Do excuse me, I'm, as you know, I'm not very well, but, uh, still I am determined to finish this third and final season of the show. So, the subject this month is, of course, Franken, my boy. Oh, it's Halloween! Of course it is Halloween! Oh, as a child, I remember Halloween was not a very popular thing. In fact, it was not very popular in Europe at all. I think what started the whole tradition off was uh, from 1978's Halloween. Uh, pretty much after that, children would get up every year and dress up as uh, monsters, uh, s various choices, of course, are like the vampire, like Dracula, Frankenstein monster, witch, werewolf, ghost, a skeleton, you name it. Oh yeah, Master, we've been having some, we're getting some trick-or-treaters, won't we, as well? Yeah, some little trick-or-treaters, of course, you'll answer the door, because, as always, last year I was working, this year I am too weak to do the whole thing. That is one of the reasons why I created you, so you can assist me and do things that I sometimes am too busy to do. Oh yes, Master, of course, Master. So, uh, Halloween. Well, um, Halloween seems to be very popular in America. I know a lot of people in America to celebrate the holiday uh, by dressing up and going out and collecting candy in pillowcases whilst dressed up in a scary costume. Uh, of course, they do this in Europe, but it's more popular in America. Um, of course, you know, a perfect Halloween setting would be on a suburban neighbourhood street with leaves falling off the trees and children running around dressed up in their can dressed up in their costumes collecting candy. Of course, the teenagers, the older kids, they tend to go and have Halloween parties or, or Halloween scares. Uh, and, of course... As they say in the film, Halloween, it's Halloween. I guess everyone is entitled to one good scare. Master? Master? Oh no, Master! Are you dead, Master? Oh no, Master! I can't be It's okay, I'm not dead. But still, I, I, I did I scare you? Well, yes, Master, but I don't think you should pretend to be dead. Especially given your condition. <laughs> I know, I know, my boy. I know. Hey, master. Yeah? Bleh! Oh, oh, you scare me. Oh, master. Oh, God, I think I've killed him for real this time. Master. Bah! Bleh! Master. Oh, yeah. I still got it. The Halloween speed. That was a trick. How about a treat? Would you like a chocolate or something when we're done here? Yes, master, I would. Okay, we will have a chocolate. So, um, yeah, uh, pretty much Halloween these days, people, the, the youths, the, the youths, the young generation like to go to parties and dress up and do all kinds of things to celebrate Halloween. Of course, Halloween is another time for telling scary stories or watching scary movies, which I've done nearly every year. I remember back in the 70s, I would watch, um, you know, marathons of Hammer House of Horror, dubbed in German. Uh, you know, and I would stay up late watching those. I was in my 30s by the time these marathons were happening, so I could do whatever the hell I want as an adult. Um, but um, since then, we've had um, so many traditions, like, 
1978, the film Halloween came out, which is now an important part of Halloween uh, uh, around this time of the year. Oh yeah, it must, it really is. Um, also, there's other films other than Halloween that take place on Halloween. There's um, the anthology film, uh, Trick, or Tr Trick or Treat. Uh, there's so many more anthology horrors out there. Um, like... Um, like that one, scary tales to scary stories. Why do I keep saying tales? Scary stories to tell in the dark. Uh, the first act of that film is set on Halloween. You know, I should really try and sh uh, show you the books. Uh, they are, they're quite uh, popular. Oh yeah, master, I bet they are. Um, so, what else is there for me to tell you? Um, I, I know of Halloween. Oh, last year we had Goosebumps too. Haunted Halloween, and we had the house with the clock in its walls. Now, the house with the clock in its walls was more fantasy comedy family friendly, but was directed by a fine master of horror, Eli Roth. And um, they had pumpkins in that, and that was very Halloweeny. And then we had Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween, and those were movies for kids to enjoy. Of course, last year we had that horror hit, Halloween, which was a sequel to the 1978 original. No other movies, none of the other sequels apply to this. You just got to watch the first movie to understand it. Oh yeah, Master, we do. I enjoyed that one. And next year, we're going to get Halloween Kills and then followed by that, Halloween Ends. And what? Oh, you won't be around to see that, will you, Master? Don't worry, my boy. I've lived a good full life. I've seen my good share of horror. But, uh, don't you worry, my boy. I will enjoy what time I have lived with you. Oh, thank you, Master. So, um, yes, Halloween. Of course, another film that I associate with Halloween, which probably isn't a Halloween film. I mean, it opens up on Halloween, but then the rest of the film is about Christmas, the nightmare before Christmas where Jack Skellington is tired of reliving the same holiday over and over and over and over and over and over again and wants to do another holiday and try and take Christmas, but it doesn't work out. But uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas has good Halloween vibes, especially with it being set in Halloween Town. Yeah, it, it is. Um, so, um, what's... Uh, with Halloween. So Halloween to me, I love Halloween. It is a, a joyous time of the year. It is full of fun and horror. Even horror YouTubers dedicate 31 days of horror movie reviews to the holiday. They like start from the 1st of October and conclude like today, given that it is Halloween. Um, of course, we will be getting trick or treaters at some point later on, but uh, yeah, like I say, you will be answering the door first. Yes, I will, Master. Um, so, yeah, um, of course, there is a good share of Halloween tunes, you know, songs that are to do with Halloween. I've like got a list here of, of like 10 songs you should play around Halloween, probably play at Halloween parties. Oh, yeah. Uh, what songs have uh, you got to recommend for the Halloween occasion? Well, uh, first of all, at number 10, I put um, I put Back Streets Back by the Backstreet Boys. I don't know if I spelt it right, but as long as I know what it says. Yeah, yeah, as long as you know what it says. Then I put, um, well, I didn't really put these in any particular order. These are just 10 songs I think you should listen to on Halloween. Uh, Party Girl from McFly. Uh, somebody's watching me from Rockwell, uh, Monster Mash, um, Ghost Rider, In the Sky, um, also um, we uh, and also this is Halloween from the Nightmare Before Christmas, um, and we also got um, we also have um, you. Know, of course, you can't have a Halloween season without hearing the song Michael Jackson's Thriller. That was released around December, from what you told me, Master. It was released in early December 19, 
83 but has gone on to become a Halloween hit, a Halloween tune everyone listens to or, or watches the video every year around Halloween time. And that video ran for like a full 13 minutes so yeah, it's, it's a short film as well as a music video I like to think. Yeah, and then of course there's Bad Moon Rising which reminds me of werewolves. Um, and also I have got here um, you know, Devil Woman from Cliff Richard. Devil Woman? I never really associated that with Halloween, but yeah, okay, then I'll, I'll let you have that, yeah. And what is the other one? Because you said you got ten down. Oh yeah, and this other one uh, is um, this, oh, I can't read my own handwriting. Um... Let's just try and meet. I need to try and work this out when I've real because, like I say, my right hand isn't the best hand. No, it's that weak hand of yours, isn't it? Um, yes. Uh, oh, that's it. Um, Marilyn Manson, this is Halloween. Marilyn Manson did a cover of that song? Yeah, he did. A lot of people did covers of that song. Marilyn Manson, Panic at the Disco. So basically, you have two versions of the same song in there. Yes, Master. All right, all right, yeah. Okay, well, uh, Halloween tunes. Yeah, they're entertaining and fun to sing to. Um, so what else do you have um, uh, there with Halloween? Um, well, I also like to watch horror films. Mainly horror films that circulate around the holiday, like Trick or Treat, Halloween films. Um, you know, it's just... I just love watching horror and stuff. You know, Halloween is the horror equivalent of Christmas, I say. In fact, we love Halloween so much that we bring it into January, every January, like straight after Christmas in the new year. Yeah, we do. We take uh, the holiday of Halloween... And we put it into January to get rid of those post-Christmas blues for you all. Of course, this upcoming January 2020 is going to be the final season of of the show because I am ill and not well and I guess, you know, Random Horror wants to do other things for the channel. You know, because, you know, it's had a, Halloween in January has had a good run, but every show must come to a good end and i think five seasons has has done it you know but uh, we still have this fifth season coming january 1st new year's day 2020 to kick start that off uh for you i don't know if i will host everything well i usually usually you do the weekdays and i do the weekends but we'll you'll probably not i don't know see how you feel and how much you can do and I will fill in the rest for you, Master. Ah, thank you, my boy. That is grand. So, yeah, Halloween horrors and horror movies. There's just so much on this topic. So, Halloween was sort of like a um, a pagan tradition or something in, in Northern Europe, um, where people would... Uh, horde of spirits and evil witches by dressing up as animals to scare them away. It's also like the last night every demon and ghost can roam around. You know, it's like... Another thing with this is, you know, it is the time of year where the barriers between the living and the dead are at its weakest. Uh, Halloween night and Christmas Eve night are the only two nights of the year where the barriers between the living and the dead are weakest and the ghosts can roam around hence why there's so much ghosts and paranormal activity on Halloween and why there is so much paranormal activity in um, in the month of you know around that like Christmas Carol um, that <coughs> You sound like Darth Vader, Master. Well, it's my oxygen I need. It's still I'm... My mind is still here, but my body is failing. 
Is that the Cancer Master? It is. But, uh, don't worry, I will find the energy to do our final ever episode next month in November. And I will also record as much of Halloween in January 5 as possible. I, I know I have managed to do at least six. I will try so hard, but... You know, I'm so very ill now and so very weak. I know, Master. I know you are. Uh, so, shall we get back on topic or shall we have a rest? Do you want to keep going? Uh, yeah. I, 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 could we, could we take a moment, please? Take a moment, everyone. I, I, I need to have a rest. And we're back. Uh, my Master had to have a bit of a rest for an hour again. Uh, you know how it is, he's getting, he's ill now, and he's wearing out, but uh, he's still finding the strength to go on. Aren't you, Master? Yeah, I am. Um, my apologies for the inconvenience, but don't worry. Uh, once we get this podcast uploaded or whatever and edited, I'm sure it will not feel like, uh, you know, it will skip that time break we had. Um, so... Yeah, I feel a lot more energet- energized now, so I can keep going for a little bit more longer. So, um, yeah, um, it's a horror. Um, so, Franken, how about we do a little thing now? Top five, top five movies you will watch to watch on Halloween for you. So I'll start first. Okay, Master. So what are your top five films to watch on Halloween? It's number uh, five. It is. Um, it's uh, Trick or Treat. It's number four. It is The Amityville Horror. It's number three. It's A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's number two. It is the 1968 classic Night of the Living Dead. That actually came out in October of 1968, October 1st. And I remember going to see that in the cinemas in Germany. Uh, It was not dubbed in German, but I could speak English. My English was good back then, so I spoke it and watched it and enjoyed it. And at number one, it is John Carpenter's Halloween, the 1978 original. If I had to pick any else as a franchise, it would be the first. Okay, Master, that's interesting. So for me, I would go The House with the Cock in its Walls for number five. Number four, um, I would go Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. So I think a lot more Halloween-y stuff came out there. I mean, the first one's good, but I don't think it's set around Halloween, so, you know. But uh, anyways, and then probably Goosebumps 1. Uh, so you're like the tame kind of Halloween horror. Oh yeah, Master, but while I got next is here in Halloween free season of the witch I'll watch that at Halloween because uh, you know that is a even though it's nothing to do with the Halloween franchise I still enjoy it oh yeah I get this yeah I will admit the film was absolute piss when I first saw it but it has it sort of has aged well for me yeah and your number one pick my boy well it's the same as yours Halloween the same reason you gave master (laughs) oh yeah Halloween so, what's, uh, this has uh, been a most eventful episode. Uh, is there anything else you want to cover about the subjects of Halloween? No, Master, I think we pretty much covered it. So, yeah, our last ever Halloween special. And uh, next episode next month will be our last ever show, won't it, Master, on this podcast? Yeah, it has been fun. And I have to say, it's been fun doing the Halloween specials uh, for the last three years. This is the third one now. But, uh, yeah, as you know, this is the final season. And we're only doing up to six episodes of this final season. So, yeah, I want to thank our listeners for listening to us and what we have to say about Halloween. Um, So, yeah, that is uh, it for this month's Fripp and Franken show. I have been Dr. Weiser Fripp, and I have been Frank Einstein, and we both like to wish you all a very happy Halloween. Yes, happy Halloween! 
and we will have our final ever episode next month. Can't believe it's the last one ever. It has been fun, but I'm getting on now, and I'm far too unwell. Well, no, so hopefully we can get this done. Okay, so uh, yeah, to the zero, free to say goodbye. Yeah, bye bye. All right, master. Let's give you your sponge bath. Thank you. You haven't turned the equipment off yet. Turn it off. I don't want people to know that you gave me a sponge bath. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Yes. Uh, okay, how do you turn this thing off? Uh, Master, is it this button or this button? For God's sake! It is a... Um, uh, let me do it. Ah, there we are. 